This is my first Genie Tower exactly work time, and this is a remote control car. I'm going to be taking apart. Uh, I already got one motor. I'm getting a second one, and then I'm going to see if the one battery can control two of the exact same battery. So let's get working. Okay, um, we popped it open. This is really cheap made, so I have to be careful not to break it. I might use these later on. Yeah, they're geared, so these might work. Um, the surfboard, whoever made this, is pretty cheap because they got staples in here. It's not even screwed in or glued underneath. Staples. Let's see, we got the uh, staple one staple here, two, and I think it's a lot of it. it's just cheap. I don't even know what this material is. So, I have to be careful yeah, not to break need, this out. Do you need any help? You good? Okay, so I got this. Okay, this is the hard part because, oh. Okay, this. Take that out so I don't look at myself. I'm just there we go. And if you can see, see that the rubber is kind of covering the metal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to scrape the metal off with the part of the scissors. Wow, those are like covered in grease. Yeah, I need a paper towel. Hey 7F, um, my memory got a little wonky on my iPad a while ago, so I missed a lot of stuff filmed. So, okay, just get it. Alright, so, I got the frame done. It's pretty good. It's strong. If you can see inside, it's got some glue. I don't know what the rods are made out of, but they're, it's really lightweight. It's like literally... So it's pretty light and it's pretty strong. Because it makes a triangle on the inside, and most of you should know at least um, that triangle is the strongest shape. Cause so if you push down on something, so I'm just I'm pushing it down on the ground. You can't really see it. The view is not really, but I'm pushing it down on the ground. And since it's a triangle, it's not breaking. <laughs> and I just dropped it, so and it's still like super strong. And I use like a mixture of uh, hot glue and uh, wood glue. So yeah. So and then the um, little slits I put on top. Again, sort of sandwich the pieces together. Uh, they're birch wood. I was gonna use balsa wood, but when I held it in my hand, it was so light, but it was like spongy wood, so it wasn't gonna be very strong. So birch is still very, very light, and it's like super, super thin pieces. And it's, it barely adds any weight, but it adds tons of structural, stru st structural strength. So right now, I'm trying to make mounts for the motor, and so far, it's not going too well. Uh, I don't know. Did I do anything else? No, I don't think so. Yeah, so. Let's get to making the mounts. Hey, 7F. Um, my memory will work, not work whatsoever. So, I need to do this quickly. So, I'm taking apart this car to get the motor out. So, I'm not going to film it because I'm really low on memory, 
so I'll just get to you back when I get the motor out. Okay, we're back again, and we got it out. A bit more destructive than I was hoping, because... Oh, is the camera? Okay, right there. So see these little metal points right there and there? That's, they're supposed to be wires connected, and Ryan, no, the camera can't see you because my hand's covering everything. There's supposed to be wires there, and these are the wires that were supposed to be attached, so those came off. Kevin Ruff, um, we're at my grandparents' house, and we're working on the, um, and I got a haircut, so that's why my hair is short, and uh, I made a frame for two of them, two of the motors, and I got this one out. So I'm going to make another frame for this one. And, okay, so get back to you when I make the frame. Hey, 7F. Um, we got that motor on. We glued, I mean, we t uh, welded it together. Then we taped those. And now we're getting, <gasps> no, no. I just realized that has to be here. Why? Because then it's, because then it's not going to be even. Alright, we got a problem. Get back to you. Enough, we are at school and we're gonna take apart this toy to get some motors. Because I believe there's gonna be one in like here. Okay. Like something in here that makes the the these legs move. So let's go take it apart. Hey 7 f I took apart the robot in a very destructive way. I had the, this wheel was on there, and let's just say I didn't unscrew it. I forcefully ripped it off, causing everything to go everywhere. So I still, if you can see the top, that's that's the exact kind of motor. Uh, that's the exact kind of motor I want. So I'm gonna unscrew these screws. I'll get back to you when I get the motor out. Hey, 7F, um, sorry you didn't get to see me rip this leg completely off, but I just, this is a really flimsy leg, and I, I have the other leg completely, this is like, the, okay, stop it, so, this is the leg before, and then after. Hey, 7F, I got the motor out, and it works. So I'm gonna test out the AAA battery. It, even though it looks slow right now, because it's the only thing is I'm testing with a AAA battery, which is really not powerful. So even though it's spinning pretty slow right now, it's gonna be spinning much faster when I can connect it to a six volt series of of AA batteries. Okay, well now I gotta clean this up. So. Yeah. Hey guys, um, we're back uh, downstairs in my basement. Uh, it's just basically my little area. Okay guys, um, it's like the morning right now <laughs> before school. And I just want to do a quick video because I need to show what I've been doing because I haven't been showing, really showing what I've been doing. But anyway, so this, I got this out of the remote control car. I got all the batteries in there. Even though though there's not enough power, <laughs> because I just tested out. And by the way, I went to a store. It's called like Windsor Hobby or some Tecumseh Hobby, something like that. Um, and they sold propellers, so I got a few. And wow, that's really glaring enough. Okay, so yeah, and I glued them all on. So the only one that I haven't glued on is the back, the one on the back to push it forward. And this one's probably the best because it's it's a micro one. And the foam around here is really strong. Because the uh, micro one's going to need more power if it's going to do that. So, anyway, so I glued them all on and I'm going to show you. But, um, okay, so, hey guys, I'm sorry if my hair is uh, disgustingly bad. Because I just got out of bed. It's the morning. So, that's my excuse. So, this is the quadcopter. Um, this is actually going to be the first time I take the whole quadcopter to school. So, yeah, I thought I found it loading it. So, anyway, so what happened? So, actually, yesterday, so I got it to fly. I just didn't film it. It didn't fly that much. I don't like mm, that much off the ground. Yeah, and then I tested it this morning again with a 9 volt, like, 9 volt per motor. I don't know why, but one of them wasn't spinning, so I, I'm going to test that at school again, so yeah, so I got a bag, 
Got the quad copper and then also the bag full of tons of nine volts, glue, my glue gun and everything. So get back to you when we're at school. Hey, hey guys. Oh. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be working on a Like the smell is impossible. I just want to get it quiet. Like, so, we'll get back to you when I get a good circuit. Uh, hey, Santa. Um, I. Lucas lended me, the person who's filming, uh, is, um, lended me this, uh, mo uh, battery for his drill. And it's 18 volts. I hooked it up to things. To, to the thing that's very tiny about uh, the motors and they lift it off the ground so I'm gonna hook I tape all the wires together so I can just hook them all in together and it's gonna fly so point it down and I'm gonna kill myself. If I don't stop this I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay you have to help me beat the day my I better go to survive this. Oh god I'm gonna die. Okay one sec Oh god <laughs> Yeah. But, I was um, testing some stuff out, and I got it to fly a bit, so I just want to point it down now. Alright, so I'm going to hook up, and I'm going to kill myself. Alright, so it's not working right now. I'll get back to you when it works again. Hey guys, um, I uh, so I, you know, the, uh, I dropped it. But it's okay. Uh, this battery that I was using, I also said that I couldn't use it because this is like a hundred dollar battery. It was 18 volts, but I'm an idiot. I can't do simple math. Two, nine volts, equals 18 volts in total. I'm an idiot. It's called attachment. <laughs> Oh, God. Okay, get up. Oh, fail. 